Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove the white backdrop from your images using Affinity Photo version 2.5. So here I am and now I need to select the backdrop. So there are two main ways. Let's try the method with the selection menu at the top. So select your layer first then click select at the top and we want to select a sample color. Now you need to click on the color you want to select. So I click on the white color and then adjust the tolerance. So different shades of white can be selected. Click apply. Now we need to invert the whole selection. I don't want the backdrop to be selected, I want the plan to be selected. So I click select and invert pixel selection. And this way we select only the plant. The final touch is to select any selection tool on the left. So it can be this one, the quick selection tool. We just want to see this refine button. So click refine and here it is. Everything marked with this uh, red color will be cut out and you can now decide what is the foreground foreground is the part that will stay what is the background that's the part that will be removed so we can mark that color over here feel free to zoom in using common plus combination to kind of mark those unperfect areas. I pick a natural light picture so my white color is not even. That's why sometimes you will need to do some finishing touches like that. We can also add a bit of border width so the program got more margin to work with. Let's go 12% and our output will be a layer with a mask. I click apply And here it is, we managed to remove the backdrop from this image with a simple selection. We didn't do any manual selection, we just used the select at the top. So that's method number one. Let's try once more, this time using a tool from the tool panel. So I'm using the flat selection tool. This tool will allow us to select a certain color. So it's rather similar, but I'm going to move to this add mode so I can click more than one time. Add mode, tolerance around 16, let's go with 14. Okay, anti-aliasing on. And now we can click on the white color. We can click on different shades of white as well. And again, the final touch will be refined. But I don't want to refine the white backdrop. I want to refine the plant. So before I click it again, let's go to click select, invert, and then refine. And we are in the very similar screen. As you may notice, I did not click on this area, but we can fix it here in the refine. Simply click backdrop and then paint this area with a red color. The program will try to help you out, remove this area as well. If you paint something with the backdrop color by mistake, you can use the foreground brush to move it back to the selection. All right, if you are happy with your selection, you can click apply. And this time we did not specify that we want this design to move to the new layer. So I need to move it myself. So I simply click Command C to copy and then Command V to paste. And I paste out only the selected area. Take a look, we got transparency now, we got the checkerboard backdrop. All right, so that's how you can easily remove the white color from the backdrop. I Pick a natural white color, it's a bit more challenging. If your white color is a solid color, like behind logo or illustration, it will be even easier. Let's take a look. So here's our illustration style image with the white backdrop, but it's also with some white elements like eyes or gloves. 
So how can we do it in this case? Let's reduce the tolerance to start with to maybe a 5% only. Now I'm using the add mode like before and I click on this white color. We also need to click on those areas kind of that are enclosed by other colors like here, here, one more here and here. All right. Like before, I would like to invert this. So click select invert and finally refine. All right, here it is. We can increase the border width a little bit. We can feather this or smooth it if you like. We can get like one pixel here and here. And then output will be a new layer with the mask. Apply. And we just remove the white backdrop from the illustration with a bit of feather so it's make a uh, edge a bit softer. All right, so how, that's how you can do it. And how about this file now? What should we do with that if you plan to reuse this without the backdrop? You can click File, you can export this as PNG. As you can notice, the JPEG they will put the white backdrop back for you. So that's not what we need. So select PNG. This way you can keep your transparency. I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.